It may be shocking to realize that the air inside your home is actually more toxic than the air outside your home. The Environmental Protection Agency did a study in that they found that the air inside most homes is three to five times more toxic than the air outside. And yet, we spend 90% of our time indoors. There was a study also done that found that 80% of cancers are caused by environmental factors rather than genetic, and that includes exposures to carcinogenic materials that are found in things like cleaning products and other common household products. All those same chemicals are being studied for the way they relate to things like autism and allergies and the like. So what can you do to reduce your exposure? Number one, open your windows. Our homes today tend to be very airtight, which is great from an energy efficiency standpoint, but it also traps all of those toxins in. So open your windows, let your house breathe a little bit. Number two, sweep with a broom, not just a vacuum. Vacuums are convenient, they're easy to use, but they also release that dust back up into the air. If you sweep with a broom, you're getting those crumbs without breaking up that dust into the air. Number three, reduce your exposure to synthetic fragrances. This is one of the top things you need to be doing in your home. Eliminate synthetic fragrances from things like candles, room fresheners, also your laundry detergent, your shampoo and conditioner. Look instead for products that are scented with essential oils. Number four, let plants clean the air in your house. NASA did a study a while back and they looked into which common household plants could keep the air inside a space shuttle fresh. And what they found was a number of common indoor plants that specifically target those indoor air pollutants and pull the pollutants out of the air. In essence, they simply clean the air. My favorite ones are English ivy, bamboo palm, chrysanthemum, and peace lily, mostly because they're easy to find. You can get them at any nursery center, and they're specifically targeting the pollutants that are inside your home. Lastly, clean your house with kitchen staples instead of those chemical cleaning products that maybe you've been using. Your five kitchen staples for this are baking soda, distilled white vinegar, a basic liquid soap, olive oil, and lemon juice. In fact, there's a whole separate video just on this teaching you how to clean your house from top to bottom using these five kitchen staples. If you stick with this video series, you will find that living your healthiest life is not just about the food you eat, it's also about the environment in which you live.